we take a look at some of the most incredible visual breakthroughs. Beginning at number 7, the VX-1. Yet another holographic display is pretty innovative, and this one can lead to volumetric video games and social interaction. It works by breaking a 3D image into horizontal slices, and then projecting these slices onto a piece of projection glass, which is being waved back and forth several times a second. The system tracks the location of the glass, and thus the image is projected at 4000 frames per second. I just wonder how long the motor actually lasts for. Anyways, it's utilizing locomotion, and there are a few products out there which use the same approach to 3D imaging. Moving on to number 6, and it's the 8K Holographic TV. Now, I initially thought that 8K is a bit overkill and not really needed. Well, a new product made by Looking Glass Factory is actually making waves, and utilizing this resolution to project 3D images without the use of glasses or headsets. Now, it does this through a pretty amazing proprietary light field technology, which generates simultaneous perspectives of a three-dimensional scene at 60 frames per second. This translates into a stereoscopic view of virtual content. Now, the display is limited to a 50-degree view, and it's only 32 inches. Nevertheless, this type of new technology development can progress into some pretty incredible displays. The unexpected number 5 is aerial image projection. Now, one of the latest techniques combines illuminated drones with smoke and laser projection for some really neat displays. And basically, this allows for faster animations with fewer drones. But I personally find this type of display technology fascinating because it is scalable and if you can figure out how to mass produce micro drones with built-in and coordinated LED lighting, then it could be possible to build a fully immersive visual display. But that is a little bit far-fetched for now. Now I'm going to get into a little bit of an older development and talk about the fairy lights. And this is really important because it is a true volumetric display. This system uses a rapidly pulsing laser to excite plasma, thus creating visual displays in a 3D space. Now this 3D space is really small, at 5 cubic centimeters, but another neat thing is that you can actually touch the hologram at a set pulse duration. Unfortunately this project has not been scaled up or advanced as of late, but maybe a breakthrough in the lens or the SLM medium could bring this type of display technology to the next level. We get to number 3 and it's the multimodal display. And instead of plasma, this one's actually using particles along with acoustic levitation and color illumination. The system is capable of producing visual, auditorial, and tactile content all at the same time, which is pretty damn impressive. So basically, the system manipulates particles at very high speeds. And this high velocity allows us to see intricate displays. It's going to be really interesting to see if we make future holograms out of particle manipulation or through actual plasma displacement. But there is one protectional display technology which may even supersede holograms. We get to number 2, and this is probably one of the most intriguing display technologies in the world, and it's the Mojo Vision. It's a 14K PPI embedded lens, and it's one of the most compact, dynamic displays with a pixel density 300 times greater than a typical smartphone. The prototype can already provide real-time lighting enhancements and zoom in like a camera. The lens will ultimately be used for AR, which obviously gives the user real-time analytics of the outside world. And I'm going to assume that this will have cloud computing and 5G implementation. That isn't going without saying that there are still quite a few questions remaining on how this contact lens is going to be formed and its ultimate health effects. But there's one type of display technology that even supersedes a direct contact lens. A while back, I made a video about bidirectional brain implants. And there was some skepticism about the ability of actually inputting information into the brain. But a few of you even caught on that it may be possible to tap into the visual cortex. And now that idea is a reality. And Ferranda's team figured out how to use machine learning to decode a video signal and input it into the brain with electrical signals. And they made this happen with a brain implant, which has over 100 electrodes. And these electrodes deliver current to individual neurons. Ultimately, the once blind patient can actually see basic images, and that is pretty amazing. The current implant can roughly produce 10 by 10 pixel images, which translates into basic images such as letters or a sidewalk. It may be possible to offer 60 by 60 pixels with multiple electrodes, and this would allow the patient to have full unobstructed vision. 
Now, it did take a lot of tinkering, and we don't know the long-term effects of putting electrodes into the brain. But this is why DARPA is investing heavily into figuring out how to remotely input information into the brain using magnetic fields. But in the end, this does prove that we can have bi-directional communication with the brain. This is probably one of the biggest developments in 2020. I just hope that we don't end up living in the matrix. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel.